Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit different than my past videos. I'm going to be talking about my experience at Gen Beauty LA and what it's all about and what I got and all the little goodies and who I got to meet. So I got to meet a bunch of YouTubers and beauty influencers that I was like so excited about. That I but I was, I was so happy that I got to meet all these people. So for those of you who don't know, Gen Beauty is a big makeup convention show type of thing and it, it's by Ipsy and if you don't know what Ipsy is um, they have this program where you could pay $9.99 a month and they send you a beauty bag every month with a bunch of uh, products that you can use they personalize it so when you sign up for it you kind of put all the things that you like if you like makeup skincare hair care they do all of it so let me just start by saying that I've been to a lot of beauty shows um, I've been to the IBS New York uh, four times or three times and that's a hair show. I've been to the Pomacho Gathering two times and that's a big hair show. I've been to the makeup show in New York and I've also been to the IMAT in New York. So I've been to tons of beauty shows and I'm going to compare, like not compare them but the difference between those beauty shows and this beauty show and I have to say I really really love this one and this one has to be uh, one of my favorites so far. So when you first go, it's a two-day event and it's a Saturday and Sunday, but you can register on Friday night. So I think the registration time was like from 5 to 7 and it was in the parking lot. So when I looked into this beauty event, I, you know, obviously I'm not from LA, I'm from Connecticut. So I had to fly out to LA. I've never been to LA. It was my first time in LA and I didn't know, I don't know where anything is. And so I Google it says that that's where the Staples Center is. I was like, oh, okay, so it's probably a huge area, like... I'm trying to compare it a lot to New York, but I was like, oh, it's probably a huge area. They have like, oh, you know, a convention center and all this stuff. But it turns out when I got there to register, it was at the first level of a parking lot, which I thought it was like a little weird, but I was like, okay, I understand. It may not be at a building. Then I find out it's in a tent on the rooftop of the parking lot. I was like, okay, but the tent looked pretty good. So I was like, okay, you know, it's probably LA. They always have nice weather. They don't have to worry about snow or any of this stuff, but Prior to me going to LA, I kept checking the weather and I knew it was going to rain three days out of the four days that I was there. So I thought maybe they would take that into consideration, but because they said this tent is huge, that it wouldn't be a problem. Uh, and I'm, this is what I was reading from people who have attended Ipsy uh, Gen Beauty on their Facebook page. So they said, oh, even if it rains, it's still going to happen. They have a huge tent and you can still go. But it should look pretty good. So anyways, we register. And they give you a little badge, like this. And with this badge comes this, this map. And it tells you where all the booths are going to be and all the brands here. Now, the cool thing about this show, and I found out once I got there about this part. That's why you see a lot of this little things missing over here. Usually when you go to a, a hair show or beauty show, you just pay to get in. Even they, the range for prices go from 65 to 125. Um, the only really expensive one is the Paul Mitchell Gathering, but that's because they it's like a three a three to two day show, and it's from like eight o'clock in the morning to five o'clock in the afternoon. I mean, it's, it's completely different, but that one that's why that one is a little more expensive, and it's like smaller classes, hands-on classes. So I can't compare it to that one, but compared to like IMS, IBS, and the makeup shows. This one was my favorite. So you go in, anyway, so you go in and that's it. Anything else you want to buy when you go to those shows, you you pay, you pay. You don't get nothing for free. They might have like little uh, contests or little prices here and there, but you don't really get anything. So when I found out that each in one of these stickers, so you go up to the booth. So for example, I didn't get to go to these because I'll tell you more about Sunday. Um, like Hourglass. Jouet, Mark Anthony, Makeup Forever. So I'll take a little sticker. So this is, so I'm gonna take my, this is by Ben, this is the Benefit one. And you take this little thing, you go up to the booth, you make a line, you go up to the booth, and they literally give you a product. Some booths were given, some booths, some booths were giving out um, full size products, some were giving um, more of a travel size, but it was pretty good. And I, look at all these booths. If I could have gotten to every single one of them, that would have been amazing. It have been a lot more makeup. And I brought home a lot of makeup. So besides getting the sticker uh, for a sticker, besides getting a ticket for every single booth and getting a product for every single one of them, 
Ipsy also gives you $200 worth of makeup in a bag. That's if you are just like the general mission pass. And that ticket was somewhere in here. And I'll this huge bag. And it's actually pretty, not huge, but it's a pretty good size. Pretty good size bag. And it was filled with makeup. So let's get into that. Jouer gives you this um, little bag. And I'll start with this one because this comes with the Ipsy uh, beauty bag. Um, these two products, which are anti-blemishing matte primer and an anti-aging moisturizing primer. This was caramel, caviar, almond, and walnut. And I thought that was pretty cool. But, and when I tell you that you just you just get like tons of products, it's amazing the amount of products that you get in this. So then we're I'm gonna start with makeup because they give you tons of stuff. So they gave us the Pearlis BB Cream. In, and some of them, these are some of the products I'm also showing is, is what I got on at the booth that you get, like with the little ticket that I showed you guys before. A lot, like all, all of the stuff is mixed in because I had to mix it all in. So a lot of the products that I'm showing you here are also mixed in with the products that I got from each booth. So cover effects, they just gave you like a, a bag and the sample. This is Per Cosmetics and this is a mineral glow. So I guess it could be like a highlighter or blush. Very pretty. They gave us this whole entire, and this came in the Ipsy Glam Bag, I mean, Ipsy Glam Bag, I guess you could say. And it's the NYX Professional Makeup California Palette, and it comes with all these pretty color shadows right there. It's pastel, but it's called the California Palette. It comes with all these really cute um, things and stuff. So, Over Cosmetics with the liquid lipstick, Smashbox face primer. Uh, this is what Benefit gave on their, at their booth, and this is the Creamy Brow Highlighting Pencil. Uh, the, the Bomb gave out this lipstick, and this one came in the bag. Tarte gave out the Lights Camera Lashes Full Size Mascara. H2O, which was my first time hearing about this brand, I never heard about this. It, they gave us this full size, um, I think this came... Actually, this is what they gave me at the booth, so it's like a uh, finishing spray, setting spray, starting spray. This was at the Bomb booth. It was like a liquid lipstick. Milani gave us a liquid liner from Mira, Mirabella. I got a brow pencil in the shade medium. I really use this. Uh, Makeup Forever, a travel size or a trial size. Um, this is the Must Fix, which is like a setting spray or a primer spray. Cotton Candy Liner, and this is in the baby blue color, so I'm actually very excited to use this. Then from Flirt Cosmetics, I got this like lipstick crayon, it's pretty cool. And from Pop Beauty, I got a mascara, which the wand looks pretty cool. So I'm excited to try all these products. Hourglass gave the Mineral Veil Primer, which I love and actually have that. Uh, this is no Note Cosmetics, I guess, or Note Makeup. Um, it's an ultra rich color eye pencil and it's in this pretty um, green shade that I'm very excited about. Colourpop gave us this pretty li uh, matte lipstick it's in the shade Clueless. I'll show you guys. It's a pretty color. I would definitely use this for sure. And I, never, I don't have any like Colourpop cosmetics so I'm excited. In the bag also came the Benefit Get Me Brow, which is like a brow gel. A rocker chic, no, rocker chic. And it's a lip liner. It's a very pretty color, so I know I'll use this. This one right here, pretty color. I was pretty bad, and at the bomb booth, they had the, these guys in like towels, which were pretty hot. But they were like, just had the lipstick, you gave them the ticket and you took the lipstick. I took two. I figured I could put one in my makeup case for when I do clients. This is again no cosmetics and it's a pretty, a really nice bright orange. Definitely for the summer lipstick. It's cute. Cutesy. 
uh, Ofra Cosmetics again. I think this is what I got when I met Nikki Tutorials, and I'll talk about my meetups, the meetups that I did. Um, they gave out, they were giving out a uh, lipstick in every, like for every person at the, the meetup. Oh, so pretty, so bright. Then I got the Per Cosmetics Correcting Primer. Very excited about this baby right here. And they got the Miravella Velvet Lip Paint Lip Pencil. Just this one. Just do a swatch. Very soft, very creamy. Royal in Lang Nickel. Um, boot. And you got the spin a wheel. And I'll see if I can insert a lot of the, because I have a video when I spin the wheel. Um, in whatever landed, that's the brush you got. Or you could have gotten an online discount code or different stuff. But I was lucky enough and I landed this beautiful brush. It's so soft. So good. Then in the bag, they gave in the this collection of brushes, which is these three. These three were together. Very excited. One is an owl shader brush. Try it concealer and highlight and glow, which I can still see myself applying highlight with this brush. They're, like the colors are so pretty. The uh, Luxie brush, but it doesn't. The Luxie brush, but I don't think they come with number. Oh yeah, uh, the 227 blending brush. Very excited about this one. And then for your ticket, um, for your ticket, you got this foundation brush. So I thought it was pretty cool, and I actually left mine home. I didn't bring mine, but I still didn't use it. So this is the foundation five ten. So that's all I got. And then Royal Nickel. This came in the Ipsy Glam bag. So H2O Beauty gave us this fresh powder exfoliator, and I guess to activate it, you pour it into your dry hands and activate with water. Gently massage onto your face for thirty seconds and rinse it, and use two to three times a week. So I'm very excited about this. It's different. Then they gave us a mask. This is by Freeman. And it's Dead Sea Anti Stress Mask. Very excited about this one. Now, <laughs> I know I keep saying I'm excited about that mask, but this mask is the one that I am extremely excited about. This is a two step mask, and this is, I don't know if you guys seen it on like Instagram or all like all over like the YouTube world. Is the mask that you put on and it kind of like bubbles, like or it foams. I think it is. It's a detox bubbling mask. And it's a two step mask. So this is step one. No, step one. Step two. And I'm excited to try this. And they were actually selling these and I wanted to get one. But I'll tell you why I can get one later. They gave us this. I don't know what this brand is. Se Soulful? Seafull? But they gave us two dry, um, two sheet masks. Some moisturizer and another little eye cream, I believe. I did want we did one of these in a hotel, and my the next day my skin was like so beautiful. It was amazing. Then there's this other sheet mask and this she mask, and this is Yes to Tomatoes, it's clear skin detoxifying charcoal paper mask. And I love these some sheet masks just because they're so easy to use. Um, leave them on for 15 to 20 minutes. Some of them change times, and you can either relax with it on or you can just keep doing what you're doing. Then you take it off, you don't have to wash it off, you just take the, you peel off the mask and you just rub whatever um, cream and moisturizer is left and then that's it, you're done. So it's pretty amazing. More mask, which is a two-in-one charcoal mask, which I like if you have oily skin, charcoal is good. Hair oil, overnight treatment. Clinique gave us a eye cream. And believe the True Cream Moisturizing Balm, which is, this is pretty good, I've used this before, so I'm actually very excited that they gave me another one. Now for hair care, they gave us Evan NYC, the Therapy Session, which is a mask, 10-in-1 renewal system. This is by Shea Moisture. It is a conditioner and it has super fruit complex, marula oil, and biotin, great for your hair. I'm excited to try all. I'm actually excited to try all these products back. So I should just take it out. And it came like this in a little Ziploc bag. So I guess I'm gonna scare it if it drip or anything. But this is it. And I believe you just apply this on like wet hair. Luxie and Jurgens was the only booth that I went to on Sunday. And I was in line at Luxie to, for a meetup. And my cousin said, oh, Jurgens is right there. Let me just run. I was like, oh, here's my ticket. If they say something, just point to me and I'll wave back and maybe they'll give you my 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 um my product. So when she comes back, she comes back with these. 
And I said, so I have to choose one? She says, no. They gave me four, and they gave me four for you. And then uh, for hair, again for hair, they gave us this Mark Anthony True Professional Hydrating Coconut Oil Hairspray. And I'm actually very excited to try this. Another lotion that we got was, this came in the bag. This is by Pacifica Island Vanilla Body Butter. I mean, if I was to show you the junk that I have here, it's insane. So what by me saying this is I never went to a beauty show and got so many things. So many things. You walk out with a lot of the things that you buy there, but they just never give you. And Ipsy just gives you stuff. And I and I, I have to say I love that because you are getting something out of your ticket money. You're, it's not just like in the general admission to get in, you're getting something. And a lot of the makeup shows don't do that. A lot of the hair shows don't do that. You go to the booth and you pay for whatever products you have. Yes, they do have them there at a, at a discounted price that they would at the store or online. But you're still paying. So the fact that the booth even gives you one product, whether it's travel size, sample size, or a little size, it's amazing. And then you get to buy things that were there on a discounted price, which was even great. I did hear that NYX was given out foundation, ColourPop was given out um, their new eyeshadows, which I heard they're bomb. Makeup Forever, they gave out a nice bag. They gave us a lot of lip products. So this is by EOS or ESO. They, you click them, there's two different ones and then you can click them together. I, I just try to smell the bottom of them, but they smell so delicious. They're like, <laughs> maybe if I learn how to do it. So you just flip them on and you can have two or you could just bring one with you. I've been using this one. This is the Natural Lemon Mint. And it's a lip repair balm for soft, smooth lips. You don't want to walk around with some dry ass lips. Nobody wants this, especially if you're a girl. Put this on, nobody wants to see that. And this has 40% coconut oil, which I thought it was great because coconut oil is popping away. And this is Pixie by Petra, and it's a shea, shea butter or shea butter lip balm. And it's cute because it has a little lip tint to it. Not much. Like, let's see right here. But it's really cute. I mean, if you're not wearing any makeup and you just want to put that on just to, for your lips, it's good. It's great. Those pretty. Uh, Vanity Impressions is the company that makes the really pretty mirrors. You see them, all the YouTubers have them, all the makeup gurus on Instagram so they gave out a, a compact mirror by them that was their price uh, their product that they were giving out was that I bought and I actually purchased four of them one of them was this vanity impressions mirror and it has lights and it turns on and off it's pretty cool it's a little dirty right now because I was I went at the Luxie booth I bought their eye set and this eye set comes with four brushes with the eye set essential eye set it and it comes with four brushes, all eye brushes, and it was only like $35 or $30 for four brushes. I thought that was pretty cool. And I love Benefit. I use all their, I use a lot of their brow products and their mascara is one of my favorite mascaras. And I just purchase what I would usually purchase if I ran out. So I bought the Royal Lash Mascara and it was 30% off. I don't think they ever have a sale that big. So that's why I purchased the Roller Lash. I purchased these brushes. So this set of four brushes was only $20. I don't know the original price, but I just thought $20 for this was pretty awesome. And I don't have any of these brown brushes, so which is just one of the reasons why I bought it. All of the colors, it's so pretty. So that's it on products. That's all I bought at the makeup show. I wish I would have had the chance to go to every single booth because I would have had a lot more things, but it was okay. I literally flew with 27 pounds in my bag came back at 47. Exactly 20 pounds more. Yeah, 20 pounds more. So that's just how much makeup I got.